switching gears over to football here, you might remember a few days ago, I ran a show with Will Turboff of Bears Illustrated in 24-7. He was talking about how positive Junior Day was for the Bears. Um, and look, I, I, I get the cautious optimism that comes with that. They do have the number one class in the Big 12 uh, for the class of 2025 right now. A couple of three stars and now a four star. <laughs> Before I get to him, just talking about Junior Day a little bit, <clears throat> no matter if these kids come here or not, there is something that Dave Aranda is still getting them in the door. These top four or five stars and like top 50 prospects. I know it doesn't win you games. I know. I, I am just surprised after three losing seasons in four years and a three and nine season that they're able to attract these guys to the program. By the way, I mean, Will talked about it. You know, it's not the end all be all, but they're going to junior days the same days that like Oklahoma has junior days. Top 50 prospects, Oklahoma's looking at them too. So it, it, is, a, it is a nice sign. You need to see them actually sign the dotted line. And then for it to actually convert into wins to feel good about Dave Aranda, of course. But one of the things that Dave has been hit or miss on is surrounding himself with the right people. I, I saw some people who would talk about how, you know, after the season, how Ron Roberts was, was really the genius and how that's a bad look on Dave Aranda. Is it though? Is it? That means he picked a good assistant coach. And I hear this all the time. Oh, oh, this guy was carried by his coordinator. Who he hired? Anyway, <laughs> I say that to say because he's brought in the right guy for his associate head coach. Keenan Hall gets a big flip for Baylor. Demetrius Brisbane, who we talked about on the show with Will. He is an athlete. He's the quarterback at Tyler Chapel Hill. Plays both ways. He's looking to play safety in college, it looks like. Um, Four-star guy, led his team to the state semifinals the last two years, had some real good teams at Chapel Hill, and has been a starter for basically two and a half of his three seasons. And he was committed to SMU. You might remember, Baylor got Keenan Hall from SMU. And now, after junior day, he is committed to Baylor. He announced it on Twitter last night. That's a big get, man. That's a big get. Now, for people like you and I who are not football coaches and can't just dissect the tape, um, it, it's a it's a weird one to kind of talk about and talk about his stats because he's got quarterback stats and he's going to come in and probably play safety. But uh, I've actually seen him on tape. He and that was preparing for four A games, not for Baylor signings. Um, he is a tremendous athlete, like truly one of those. I don't want to say diamond in the rough, but like real elite athletes out there. And, you know, at that kind of level, he's the one where you just want the ball in his hands as much as possible. Um, and so he plays quarterback for Chapel Hill. But uh, he's got a, a composite score on 24-7 of just under 90, 89. Um, and he's the number 22 athlete in in all of Texas. Um, and so, I mean, that's a, that's a, almost a low five-star there, man. He was, he was, uh, the MVP of his district as a sophomore, um, and was the unanimous offensive newcomer of the year as a freshman. Um, and I misspoke, I believe it's three straight semifinals for Chapel Hill. They had a big win, um, at McLean stadium this year, as a matter of fact, in the playoffs, but his rushing yards are just showing the kind of athlete he is. I mean, over a thousand in each of his three seasons at Chapel Hill in 2021, it was it was less snaps, a lot less snaps. Uh, still got over 1,300 yards, over 1,700 rushing yards this year on 160 attempts. Oh man, and only only 13 rushing touchdowns. He had 15 and 16 the two years before that, so 44 for his career and a uh, one first down run away from 4,500 career rushing yards. The man is, is just a, a freak athlete. And I think more importantly than just him is, is what Keenan Hall is bringing you because look, I, I'll admit I'm skeptical because every time an assistant coach comes in, it's all oh boy. He's a great recruiter, a great recruiter. 
I mean, how many times did we hear about that the last few years? Stewart and Munoz and Mateos and all these guys, all these positional coaches, Bell too, uh, they're great recruiters. And we hear some stories here and there, especially including that last example that I just gave, um, Sean Bell, where you'll hear about the great relationships he had with kids. The, the point is, we just, we don't know. We don't know. The only way we can measure it as fans and the only way you could measure it in terms of keeping your job is how many of those guys actually sign. So it was it was great that, that Sean Bell had a great relationship with DJ Lagway and Austin Novosad, but they didn't come through the door. You know, so I, I'm always skeptical about these guys. You've never heard an assistant coach get hired and someone say, ah, not a good recruiter. Maybe keep him away from from the parents' couches. I, I don't think he can recruit. You never hear that. And so I just try to be you know, wary of that bait whenever it's out there. And then sometimes you see it pay dividends. Um, I actually did think you, see it, you saw it pay dividends with Eric Mateos early on with some of the guys he got out of the transfer portal, not the least of which being Jacob Gall. Uh, but now you, you're seeing tangible results from Keenan Hall in essentially, he was hired in December, but the first month that he's out there on the road, he has already flipped the four star. It's big, man. And, and Will was talking about it in that show too. Um, SMU has got good recruits committed the next couple of years. And I have a feeling a lot of that is Keenan Hall. And so Baylor, whether it should be this way or not, I think it's a little bit of Baylor regressing a little bit over the last couple of years and SMU's profile being raised. Those guys, and, and I'll put TCU in there too, they're all going for similar recruits. You know, there is that that upper, upper echelon of, of athletes in Texas that if they're staying here, they're only going to UT or A&M. And then there's Micah Hudson at Tech, but that's a different story. Um, and then... What's great about Texas is there's such a great second tier of talent that places like Baylor, TCU, SMU, Tech, Houston can really get in on the party. And, and that's that's an advantage that someone like a Purdue doesn't have in Indiana. You know what I mean? So um, they don't have that kind of that talent pool. Iowa State and Iowa, obviously they do a good job with it, but they don't have the same kind of talent pool. And it, I say that to say there were such fine margins in having the right recruiter and having the wrong recruiter. Dave Aranda realized that SMU had a great recruiter in there in Keenan Hall. And he went out and got him, brought him up a level, and now he's starting to bring some of his groceries with him. And that's humongous. But Demetrius Gibson or Brisbane, sorry, Demetrius, Demetrius Brisbane um, is going to be, I think, a stud at the next level. You say that about all those guys who get four stars, and he has earned every star he has, and he ain't done yet. Uh, Chapel Hill's always a great program, and we'll see a lot more highlight tape of him, but just remember, people, he's coming in as a safety. So when you see him ripping off those 70-yard runs, he's just going to be doing that for a pick six. Fingers crossed. Big win, Keenan Hall. Big win, Dave Aranda, to have Keenan Hall. Lady Bears looking for a big win. Big game.